Hey folks, welcome back here to the Vegas Don Channel. We're here off of Charleston Boulevard at Lamb Boulevard here in East Las Vegas on a Saturday afternoon, waiting now for the cross traffic on Charleston to go by. Temperature outside reads about 106 degrees Fahrenheit. Now heading westbound on Charleston for our friends following along at home on your preferred map app. Donut time. What was that building we just passed there? This is the, uh, we're coming up to the interchange with Interstate 11 slash US 93 slash US 95 slash Interstate 515. El Pollo Loco over there on the left, this intersection with Sacramento, that is a fast food chicken joint for anyone unfamiliar with that. Used to be a Pep Boys right next door to it, but that, that, that has since closed. As we come up to this interchange here. It's weird how they have this set up, right? So they have this first light on the, on the one side, on the near side, let's call it, of the uh, interchange. Green, and then they make this one red. So you have to stop at it. That Saturn has no license plate on it. And they create when they redid this intersection, they gave the uh, they gave the turn lanes three lanes to turn south onto Interstate 11, but took a travel lane away from us, going th uh, the through traffic here on westbound Charleston. So it's still going to create a pressure point here. Get out from behind this bus. This is Honolulu. We have video of our time driving around the Hawaii streets on our library. Feel free to check that out in our video library on the Vegas Island channel. Coin laundry over there on the left. Lowest price cigarettes, it says there at the Circle K. And then you got Barley Pops over here on the left. I, they had a pizza place in there I went to during COVID, actually. And it was really good. It was a slice of New York or something, I think it was called. It was really good. I don't know if it's still there or not, but highly recommend it. Got a whole bunch of political ads on the other side of the street over there, littering the street. Oh, it looks like we've got an accident up here or something. You can tell all the people that uh, have some sort of issue with their license or something like that because they're they're turning before they hit this intersection here with Mojave where the cops are redirecting traffic. 7-Eleven right there in front of us. Shout out to 7-Eleven man. 166 7-Elevens here in the greater Las Vegas area. Of course, that number is going to change. Maybe, well, I don't know. They said, I just read in the news yesterday, they said that they were going to uh, eliminate 400 stores across the country. 7-Eleven is closing 400 stores around the United States. When was the last time you heard that happen? But everything's fine, don't worry. I think I think they had like 3,000 something. So it was a very small percentage, 3,000 something stores in the US. But still, a sizable portion nonetheless. That's about 1%, 400 stores. And they didn't say whether those were corporate owned or franchises, because a lot of them are owned by franchisees. This is Stewart Avenue, runs major east-west artery that runs eastbound, or east and westbound here on the east side of Las Vegas. We will make our left here. City of Las Vegas has a detention center over here on our, uh, the opposite corner. That is where if you party too hardy down on Fremont Street, you will probably end up This right here on the 30th Street, 30, and uh, make this left. 
show you this little neighborhood in here. Dumpsters lining the roadway here. Couch there next to the uh, dumpsters. An old Nissan 200SX right there. Been a while since I've seen one of those. Dumpsters have all been tagged up. Very attractive to look at. Had a happy birthday banner hanging up in the uh, window, the second floor window of that building. We've got more mattresses up here ahead. This is a mile east of Fremont Street and the Fremont Street Experience, home to countless tourists who come here every year. We, this is a dead end here, so we're gonna turn around. But I gotta find a spot that doesn't look like it has a whole bunch of glass in it. And head back eastbound here. But we wanna show you all things Vegas, not just the glitz and the glam of the Las Vegas Strip, but everything. Things Vegas. We'll make this left here. Come out to Marlin Avenue. And make a left. Off to our right here is uh, Interstate 11, slash US 93, slash US 95, slash. Interstate 515. That Ford Explorer Sport Track has no tag on it. Brings us up here to the stop sign at 28th Street, where we will continue westbound. See these apartments here to our left. They're going to have all kinds of road noise from the interstate right here. Even though they have that wall up, you still get a lot of road noise. La Bodega de la Piñata. Party supply right there. Brings us up here to Stewart Avenue, where we will make a right and have continue westbound. Tire shop over there on the other side of the street. I believe they're open 24 hours too. Yeah, it says open 24 hours. Which is actually kind of convenient. If something happens to you at night, we'll wait for our turn here. Got the green light here at Eastern Avenue. Eastern is, of course, a major east, uh, major north-south artery here throughout all of Las Vegas, the east side of Las Vegas. It's a lane closed up ahead here. Speed limit of 30 in here. Probably because of all the residential buildings lining the roadway. We've got uh, Stewart Market and Liquor over here on the right. Panaderia, Deli, Ganisseria. And that place tends to be pretty busy. There's always a lot of cars in that parking lot. Now 
crossing 19th Street. No on-street parking here indicated. That's going to bring us up here to the light at Bruce Street. We have a lot of videos of our time up and down Bruce Street. Feel free to check those out in our library. A little baby uh, toy uh, camper there. We now curve to the northwest, which is the orientation, northeast, south, northwest, southeast, rather, for the downtown streets here. Another juice stand there. I wish someone could explain to me how someone who drives a, who, who operates a juice stand can drive a $60,000 truck. That math doesn't math in my brain. Thirteenth Street, another 7-Eleven. Shout out to 7-Eleven man. Acadia Plaza. And we get the light here at Maryland Parkway, another major north-south artery here in East Las Vegas. Have a lot of time of our bit of driving up and down Maryland. Feel free to check that out. About to get the green light here at Maryland Parkway. There it is. We'll make this left. Head south for two blocks. This is Ogden here. And this is Fremont Street, home of the Fremont Street Experience. That is, however, not home of the Fremont Street Experience. Right there. This is what the East End looks like of Fremont Street. Although there really is no end to Fremont Street, it becomes Boulder Highway and then travels all the way out to Hoover Dam. But you get the gist. Now approaching 11th Street. Bunkhouse Saloon. There's a funky looking semi looking thing there. I guess that's art. Looks like we have a, some sort of festival over here on the right. Could be a beer fest. They like to do that. Atomic Liquors over here on our left. Very popular place. There's a uh, local streamer, live streamer here that uh, likes to go in there and hang out. Their uh, meatball sandwich he seems to be really fond of. Out here at 9th Street. Not sure why we're stopping here. Oh, because there's pedestrian traffic there, okay. Downtowner Motel, and you got some uh, containers there. In addition to Container Park, up here on our left. Now coming into the Fremont East District. And there is Container Park, or at least the back of it. Downtown Container Park with its praying mantis up there that snorts fire at night. I still have yet to capture it snorting fire, but uh, I'm hopeful one day we'll be able to make that happen for our viewers. Sitting here at the light at 7th Street, two blocks east of the Fremont Street experience. So you see how the neighborhood kind of changes somewhat as you get closer to the Fremont Street experience here where the uh, casinos are downtown. The D and Four Queens, Binion's, Fremont and uh, Golden Nugget. At night this place is packed. We have a lot of videos of our time up and down walking actually up and down Fremont at night here. Feel free to check those out in our video library. It gets packed here. In fact, it gets so packed that this pizza place up here on the side, we have Cheap Shot, we all scream there, Corduroy. This pizza place right here, Evil Pie, tends to have a, wait, a waiting line outside because it gets so busy inside. It's really rather uh, interesting, to say the least. Never have to wait to get into a, a pizza joint. 
but here in the East End of Fremont, you do. Over here off to the right, you have a uh, food truck that says, Rollin' with my hoagies. Hoagies, salads, wings, loaded fries, mini donuts. And then, of course, over there on the corner, you have Heart Attack Grill, where over 350 pounds you eat for free. They have a scale out front for you to get on and uh, determine your weight. And then you have Hennessy's Tavern right there. The big pseudo glass of Guinness beer right there. I want to take a moment to say thank you all so very, very much for joining. We really appreciate each and every single one of you. Please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. And as well as the algorithm, your voice carries so much more weight with the algorithm when you like, follow, share, and subscribe. So please do take a look at our Vegas Don merch available on the shop section of our Vegas Don channel on YouTube. We have these awesome Vegas Don shirts, the Vegas Don logo on top of the Las Vegas Strip skyline. And as always, remember, here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. We'll see you next time, folks.